Hello everyone and welcome to episode 8 of my Epic Eye series. Um, I'm currently revisiting all the their albums so that I can, you know, discuss their music with other people that do enjoy them. Um, this is not my first time listening to this album, but for some of them, I've not gone back to them in a while because I have like a set epic high playlist that I listen to constantly and now it feels so good to go back and actually experience all those eras um over again for those who don't know epic high along with dynamic duo are actually the first groups that I stand music wise um and you know I just feel like for me they represent what music is i love how passionate they are about the music that they make i love how invested they are in producing quality music for so long and they never try to copy what is trendy they just make great music and it translates well regardless of the times that we are in and what is popular or not and i think that's because when somebody really puts their 120 percent into their craft and they're really passionate about it and the work is of such high quality you don't need trends the work speaks for itself and it's been so much fun actually going back and checking the albums again because my opinion on some songs have definitely changed throughout the years like now that i'm listening to especially with the older albums i feel like there's a lot of songs that i originally was not such a fan of or that i would like listen to every blue moon that now i am so obsessed with them and i'm like oh my god how did i overlook this specific song in the past so in a way, I'm also rediscovering Epic High along the way, but it's just so much fun. So for today's episode, I listened to Map of the Soul. I love this album. Um, it's really good. I would say I'll place it in the middle discography wise. Um, and the thing with this one, I personally feel this was Tableau's um, album. It shined so much throughout the entire album. Oh my god, like his verses on here, they just hit different. Like every single verse feels like a punchline and I just love that. And as someone that tends to be really me biased, there are times or like specific albums that I feel like I'm getting swayed, you know, <laughs> and this is definitely one of those. I love the lyrics on all the songs. Like I said, this is not my first time actually listening to the album, so I've had time to actually research and look out what the theme of the album is, what they're talking about, and you know, um, when it comes to lyricism, they're way up there in my opinion because they have a message. Every single time they have a message and they know how to package it in a, in, in a way where it doesn't feel like you are being explained something or um, exposed to like a concept or a norm, but you having fun along the way while you know getting that message and i think that's something that i really love because a lot of songs are so deep and the message is so good but because it's packaged in a boring way you actually overlook all that because i'm gonna be frank here lyrics are not all that in a grand scheme of things because i promise you a song could be about making the the world better or working on yourself but if it's like a melody that you can't stand what's the point you know so there is a way to achieve both you know have great vibey music and still putting your message out there and i think it's something that epic high does very well i adore the production on this one just insane um i love how even though 
within this album there are songs that we heard before of course like we got like new version of them and stuff like that they never do the same thing twice you know what i mean by that is let's say for example map of the soul we've heard the song before at in previous album and now they are reintroducing that song again to us but what do they do they actually make a worldwide version with a new feature on there that just brings something new to the song because i am not a fan of remixes because sometimes i feel like i've already heard that so why do i need to go through all this again but i love artists that put out a remix and actually remix the song give me new verse add elements to the beat or the melody do something different you know to make the song really distinct from the original and i think i love the fact that they did that on this album it's like we got a song that we heard before but in a new way you know whether it be changes or addition to the beat or the melody or just like a new person coming on there and having a new verse and you know restructuring the song i really like that now when it comes to my personal favorites in this there are two songs that are the highlight for me other songs are also part of my daily playlist but in terms of all-time favorite out of this entire album it will come down to two songs so in second place it would be scenario Go, 
Cause what you go You gotta go with the show And that was my second favorite. Oh, I love this. It's just so good. I love how the beat is already like so captivating. And now you have like, I love the vocals on there. I love the rapping. Oh, this feels so nostalgic. And it's just so good. Now, my number one in the album is Map of the Soul worldwide version. I remember my first glimpse of her face I saw you smile, then I smiled, I was straight blown away Mesmerized by your beauty from your feet to your hands How can one be so beautiful I don't understand Heaven sent God's gift without a doubt in my mind Sometimes I wonder why our past decided to collide We started off as perfect strangers Boy meets girl, infatuation to love Now you're my whole entire world Destiny taps me on the back saying hello But really it was your touch No, when I never let you go Then you spoke, I never heard a voice so sweet Heavenly and from her words Man, I knew this girl was deep just like me with times to worry and times to play We'll sit and stress over life But just burn the day away I know for sure In our past lives we had to be friends Living and dying together Knowing that we would meet again It's just a blessing To have you in my life I was destined to be with you I'm privileged So amazing No question And I'm knowing Soon enough we'll get where we're going Just thinking about it I can feel my heart growing Am I tripping? Or is it that I finally see? I don't know But my heart is saying You're the one for me Please believe me I'm exactly where I want to be This rhyme is written from my heart to you Sincerely No reason to live without you 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 you turn up soul into a butterfly and I lose control can never turn aside you shine like summer skies like when a lover lies next to me and says to me you make me wonder why you are a beautiful mystery every note carved into musical history a simile metaphor words not enough to entrust to you trust that it's true we must have a clue but we ask for evidence dwelling past in sentiments though we bask in eminence every moment every day busy getting paid away the soul fades away into a grainy shade of gray I pray that that you listen to what I say cause I feel like I'm missing you This is to everything that you are The wild earth, a child's birth, sun, moon and the stars No reason to live without you 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 Like Stevie without wonder, hunger without food, a sheep without a shepherd, asleep without your message. That despite the skeptics in the end, you were true. And I knew that there was more to life. And I grew living for the light. I took my answers, combined them with yours. It made life exciting, but it closed some doors. Word to Christ, my life accelerated, then deflated, sunk to bottom, then elevated till I made it. But you always had my back, though. When kids do rocks at me, or on stage rapping, still I see kids without love. It brings tears to my soul, but while they always dry up, the world's gone bonkers. You're conquered fear, and as long as I believe, you're the reason I'm here. No reason to live without you. Without you. No reason to live without you. No reason to live without you. Without you, out. No reason to live without you. That was my favorite song on the album. 
you know, oh, I love this. Like I mentioned earlier, it's the fact that they took something that we heard before and repackaged it in a way that is just so good and a thousand times better than the original. I love it. The last minute of the song, oh, this in the car always makes me feel like I'm in a music video. You know those old school one where they would do nothing but like cruise around in the car and then just wrap their soul out. <laughs> what? <laughs> wrap their souls out but like i feel that way every time i listen to the song in the car i'm like yeah i'm just filming my music video with this in the background it's just fun it's good it's oh amazing let me know in the comments how you feel about this specific album where does it rank in your overall you know order when it comes to their albums and also which songs out of this album are your favorite. That's it for me today. If you want more, check out their dedicated playlist on the channel.